we're going to sing Angel Geschichte's song uh, to set the stage also for this session. So just relax. Sit back, grab a pillow. You don't have to keep your video on if you don't want to. You can just fall out. Oh, say so far, Oh, say so
Okay. All right, so as we dive into this emotional soup going on here, the predominant heavy, heavy component is grief. So that's where we're going to start. So whatever connection that you have to grief, just allow yourself to feel it. So in this space, just feel safe to connect with the emotions that you usually try to avoid. So often I feel like everything is crumbling all around me. And it's this huge momentum of things crumbling all around me. The way things used to be. Relationships I had. Happiness I used to feel. Hope I used to feel. excitement that I used to feel. Warmth that I used to feel. It's like I'm losing so much of it. I'm losing so much of it that sometimes I have trouble smiling. And I see it in others too. And it makes me afraid. Because how much more can we lose and still smile? How much more can we be pressured to move against our own integrity and still smile? How far from ourselves are we expected to go to please others? And is there any happiness in that? So I find myself asking if it's worth it. Certain people are worth it. Certain jobs are worth it. Because if I have to say goodbye to my own integrity, what do I have? That's the one thing I can't afford to grieve. I can grieve people. I can grieve a loss of a job. I can grieve a multitude of things and still be me. But if I lose my integrity the, to the point that I must grieve it, who am I? And if I give that piece of me over, do I even exist anymore? 
How do I have a moral compass if that's gone? How do I set genuine heartfelt goals if that's gone? How do I make genuine heartfelt connected relationships if that's gone? It's the core of me. I cannot afford to grieve it. And the pressure of this world is asking me to not strengthen my boundaries, but weaken them. And I refuse. So the energy is changing to resistance. amazing it's like this force on the outside of us that continues to suck our life force and observationally it's quite a sight to behold but i am a sovereign being created from the source of life. Endowed with everything I need to sustain myself. And as I observe this dynamic that's unfolding and how many are giving into it, I see it on a small scale too. I see it in marriages. I see it in jobs. I see it between parents and children, brothers and sisters, friends. And observing the dynamic, it's so unhealthy. If you need me to abandon my integrity to fit in with you, I don't want you. That is my boundary. So what I'm in resistance to is the request, the coercion. And the manipulative siphoning of my life force to feed your weakness. And through my resistance, I'm reversing the flow of energy. So that I'm being fed from all around me, from underneath me, from above me, from within me. I'm being fed energetically. And if you come into my space with your intention, with your energy, with your coercion, with your threats, with your manipulation of any kind. 
know that it is against my will. And since it is against my will, you are caught in a spider's web. And I assimilate you. Because I feel what's happening here. A war for the soul of humanity. And you cannot have my soul. And so if you do not want me assimilating you, do not invade me. Do not invade my space. Do not threaten me. Do not coerce me. Do not manipulate me. Because I do not accept. I'm just changing. to protect it. I can feel that in my genuine declaration, I am protected. Because the soul of me, the integrity of me cannot be taken unless I allow it to be. And the soul of me and the integrity of me is not dependent upon any material thing, including other humans, to exist. The soul of me, the integrity of me, was given life by source of life itself. It is energy. I am energy. And therefore you cannot destroy me through my material things. And as I associate myself with my integrity, with this energetic essence that I call my soul, I am acutely aware of my connection to the source of all life. And its persistent flow of energy. Its persistent flow of nurturing. Its persistent flow of respect and upliftment. And as I keep that door open and that flow open, the internal space of me becomes full and strong. 
as I'm protected. Through my declaration of autonomy. And in this energy, I am strong. And I see clearly that I cannot be destroyed. That I have the power to call back to me any pieces which have been stolen. That I have the power to collect myself, integrate myself. into wholeness. And from this space of wholeness, I'm able to see clearly others who have made the same declaration of autonomy and connect. And I can feel the brilliance in that, the safety in that. The pathways in that. And it soothes my fears. soothes my insecurities and reminds me that I need not settle for less. I need not settle for anything that would suck me dry when I can connect. With those who contribute. And so I make a declaration to myself, understanding the strength of this dynamic. To be disciplined in my connections. To be real about where there are not connections, even if I wish there were. to be honest about those who have no interest in reciprocity and to pull my energy back from them. And on to, on to focus with those who can engage in reciprocity. so that we keep this space sacred, fulfilled, fed, connected, and protected. And through this, I feel the protection. The energy has changed to protection. I 
I realize in the space of protection, in the space of feeling protected through the energetic connection and declaration of autonomy. That I have no interest in dynamics that do not create this. And I also realize that in this space, I have less fear. And therefore, I'm not easily compromised. And that allows me to see so clearly who feeds on my fear. And I know in my bones that anyone who feeds on my fear is unwell. And I lovingly detach myself from those who are unwell in this way. because I see clearly we have a world to create out of the ashes of the one that is burning all around us. And those of us who can see must be disciplined in all of the ways that we contribute to autonomy, to safety, to growth, to nurturing, to connection. to building, it is through our discipline, through our focus together, that we are triumphant. It is through our lack of discipline in these ways that we fail. And I refuse to fail. And I am dedicated to connecting with others who refuse to fail. Because above all, I am curious about what we can create through our discipline, through our connection, through our focus on one another, through our support of one another, I am curious. Because although the time we are in is scary in so many ways, It is also ripe with creativity and opportunity. And for the first time, so many of us can see everything that we need to focus on. Everything that we need to pour our energy into. And we cannot afford to waste any of that precious energy that we have 
It all must be used with absolute intention. to build our own inner strength and the strength of the reality we're creating with one another. And so I allow the dramas to simply be dramas and I allow myself to see when something is trying to siphon my integrity. And I let it go. I cannot have my integrity. And I allow my integrity to lead me on this difficult path. Trusting that centered in my integrity, answers will come, people will show up, solutions will appear. because integrity is what the source of life gave me to define me. And I am being challenged to hold on to it above all things and be guided by it. And I rise to the occasion. And I hold hands with the others who rise to the occasion. And I reach out to them when I need them. And I ask for help when I need it. And I offer help when others need it. And I allow myself to experience true, deep, soulful, purposeful connection and community. I allow myself to experience what it's like to be sustained by the integrity of the human spirit. And I allow this energy to change me, to purify me, to move me, to humble me, to inspire me, to challenge me, to teach me. So that in this precious life, I get to experience true connection, true love, true support. And so that I get to see the beauty of what's possible, the beauty of human potential combined. And I do not give up on this. I do not give up on it in my thoughts, in my actions, in my intentions. I believe in it and I nurture it and I feed it and I love it and I respect it and I embrace it completely.
and this is the way I live the rest of my life. And I anchor myself here. And in this anchored space, I am not compromised. And that is the truth of me. I am not compromised. I am whole as I am, as I was created. And in this, I am triumphant in all ways, safe in all ways. Embraced in all ways. And profoundly connected in all ways. Allow yourselves to come back. I want to um, comment on something that Lynette says here about going to sleep with this using it as a white noise, almost a replacement of white noise. I normally listen to the podcast, but Leanna said today that it actually inhibits proper sleep. Listening to this, the treatment part of this would not inhibit proper sleep. Not at all. In fact, quite the opposite. It would, it would help you to uh, get more productive sleep and a lot more accomplished while you're asleep. Yeah. I listen to these every single night. So does our son. And if I wake up in the middle of the night, I play another one. Yeah. I would recommend to, as far as the technical difficulties, please catch that Zoom, that Zoom um, link because we don't have any problems over there. I apologize to the Facebook folks. I don't know what to do about it. Um, I am going to send you our um, web page. I have to know. I have to, I never get it right now. Are you talking about YouTube? Mm, no. For our. Um, for, yeah, the hyphen. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and go ahead and hit the, um, our, our website and, and just sign up there so we can have your email hit our group list. And that way, when I send the Zoom link out to everyone, it will be in there, assuming it doesn't get blocked or screened for whatever reason. And I will upload this to our YouTube channel so you guys can go on YouTube and get it. And yeah, we would love your feedback on how you guys are feeling after that. Mm -hmm. So tonight, just to let you guys know what I worked on real briefly. I worked a lot on lung. I worked a lot on kidney. Um, I worked a lot on what we call the egoic field. I worked on your basement. We'll put it this way, where we shove down the emotions that we don't know what to do with and put them away to go through them on a rainy day and we never get to them. And there's a lot of grief, a lot of fear, and a lot of anger sitting in those. Um, remember, for those of you having ear problems, the kidneys connect to the ears. So if you're having a lot of ear issues, kidneys can be a part of, part of that. So can liver. So can gallbladder. And for those of you who haven't felt well and you know Pongu Shangong, practice. Up it, up it, up it. Practice, practice. You know, I hadn't been sick in well over four years. And then after we did the um, retreat, retreat mm -hmm. 
I got sick and I was practicing many hours of Qigong for myself and still treating my son while I was sick. So, you know, we, we often do not realize how much we can actually not only sustain ourselves even through an illness, but even help others through an illness. And it's a really good thing to remember. Mm -hmm. And we're all capable of more than we like to give ourselves credit. Very true. But the, the Pangu Shangong is such a fantastic way to overcome any illness and to help others overcome illnesses as well. And it's so simple. It hey. just takes mm -hmm. discipline. That's it. Don't let the simplicity fool you into thinking that it's not doing something or it's not as powerful as it is. And a lot of the power I've noticed over 18 years of how well it works on me is how receptive I am to let it sink down inside of me. So I'm not hard and crusty. It's easy to get hard and crusty, jaded. If I can just soften myself and allow it to go down deeper, it seems to have a deeper effect. Good, Marina. Good. Yeah, so for those of you that know the Pongu Shingong, practice it. Like, practice it. These are rough, rough times we're in. Really, less than two hours a day is unwise, in my opinion. And I agree. Play these alchemies, play these full monties like every day. That's why we're giving them to you guys. Mm -hmm. So just, and all the other tools we have on our YouTube channel, we have actually a lot of them. If you haven't signed, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, we would appreciate it. We're a long way from a thousand. We haven't really pushed very hard to have a lot of people on it. I'm going to start pushing that personally for it. I would like us to be able to also broadcast on there live as well on YouTube. I know people are like, oh, get off of YouTube. It's, a, you know, it's, it's horrible. It's part of the whole thing. I, I get it but it's also where the majority of the people are. And our material honestly probably won't get smacked down as likely as like a, you know, I don't know. Not on there because we're not really, we're not in a direct way talking about what's uh -uh. going on. They don't we care, are, but we're not. They don't care what we're saying on YouTube. And the another tool you guys can use is if you go to our website, angelgashikta.com, you can, for 20 bucks a month, you can use all of the meditations that are on there that uh, are very, very powerful. They're very similar to the alchemies and they're all for specific things. So there's ones for anger, for sadness, for self-respect, for just um, so many things. They're very powerful energetically and they do the same thing that create those new neural pathways and new energetic habits mm -hmm. within you when you're listening to them. You can also just go on there and buy them individually. So if one sticks out to you, you can just get it, then it's it's yours to play and enjoy. Remember, this is about entrainment, right? When we want to have, be in a different state of being, we need to entrain in that state of being that we want to be in. This is entrainment. Listening to the meditations are entrainment. Listening to these treatments are entrainment, Okay. And so when we're in training to other things, even if like, well, I'm doing research right now, I'm trying to figure out what's going on in this crazy world. Okay, I get it. I totally understand that. However, a steady diet of that is not the healthiest thing in the world. And you need to entrain to something else to bring you back to a better place. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate that. Yes, Angel is a beautiful woman. No doubt about that. Thank you, Mary. So I, I want to I end on this note, at least from what I want to say. Um, so Angel has a, an emotional, well, that's not right. A, uh, yeah. Yeah. Emotional alchemy. Yeah. I, I have an emotional alchemy class coming up on Thursday. Yeah. This so, Thursday. And the thing is, if you're on the fence about it, you should probably do it because I can only get a couple of them out per year because usually the majority of the students stick and want to study all the way through to learn the healing integration therapy part one and two, which is it's a healing form that I teach, which is very, very powerful. I use it all the time. You hear me sing that song? Guess what I'm doing? Hit. So I have that starting on Thursday. If you're interested, reach out. I can put the link in the, in the Facebook thread also. Mm -hmm. And um, that's that. All right. Thank you all for being here. We will do it again, hopefully soon. The holiday season's coming up. It could be a little bit dicey but we'll see what happens um and, and i'll throw out a codes um session here on saturday all right yeah and to all you americans happy thanksgiving yeah and all of you who live in other countries well 
happy eat, happy day eat on our day. behalf. Eat on our behalf. That's right. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Good night. <laughs> eat on our behalf. I love it. <laughs>